Hey folks, Dr. Gersmar from Aspire Natural Health. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you happen to be watching or listening to this, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I wanted to talk about the single biggest issue that gets in the way of success. The single biggest issue that gets in the way of success. Now, this can be in regards to your health, dealing with digestive issues and autoimmunity, trying to go from sick to healthy to thriving. This also applies to other areas of our life, relationships or finances or, or any other area of our life. Listen, there are a lot of things that can get in the way of us having success, reaching our goals. But in my opinion, in the single biggest issue that gets in the way of people achieving the results that they're looking for is this. You ready for it? Distraction. Getting distracted. Now, we live in a time and a place where we are blessed, absolutely blessed to have opportunities and options in front of us. You know, for many people throughout history, there were very few options. You pretty much grew up in a place and there was a good chance you're going to live your entire life in that place and and die there and options that were available to you as far as careers and and what to do with your life often you had one the single option that was available or maybe there were a couple of options available to you we look back at like medieval libraries for example and oftentimes you know just behind me I have more books in those bookshelves and many libraries, many kings and queens did at the time. You know, we are blessed to have opportunities. However, as always, there is a dark side to having so many options and opportunities available to us, and it is simply distraction. You know, the human mind is not made, not evolutionarily adapted to having so many options. It's difficult and it's challenging to be to have to look at so many options and decide, wait, should I go with A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way through Z and more? Like, how do I figure out what I need to be doing? The, 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 problem facing many of us today is not information. There is more information available than ever before. It's simply curation or understanding, okay, of the 26 choices that are available to me, what are the two or three that I should really focus at and actually spend my time and my energy to decide which among these two or three choices is the one that I should pursue right now well distraction right even having made a choice many of us are distracted modern advertising is all about distraction like hey let me catch your attention and did you know that you really need this you didn't know that you needed this thing before but let me tell you all about why you actually need it and why you should buy this new shiny thing we talk about this as being shiny object disease sod shiny object disease right the whole ooh what's that over there now for a lot of us when it comes to our health right it's we pick a course of action many of us get stuck and we're not sure even what to choose what to do but for many of us who do make a decision and go forward with a course of action whether that's taking a supplement or a diet or some other treatment or therapy or thing that we're going to try to do to improve our digestive issues or our autoimmunity we get started doing that thing and then almost immediately it's like woo something else shiny and interesting comes along that can destroy Distract us. At best, uh, we end up often stacking one thing on top of another. Well, I read that this supplement was good, and then this diet over here was good, and then this person said this was good, and we, we end up kind of with this hodgepodge of different things that we're all trying together, and sometimes it works. Unfortunately, oftentimes it's, it's a giant mess, and it doesn't move us in the direction of our goals. But a lot of times we see people where they'll try, they'll get started trying one thing. And then they'll get distracted, give up on that thing, and then go try something else. And then they're bouncing from thing to thing to thing, getting distracted, never actually making any progress, which is why we talk about that, listen, if you're dealing with digestive issues and autoimmunity, and you've decided that you're going to do this thing, again, if it's taking a supplement or a diet or, or working with a practitioner to get some help or trying a course of action, recommend that you try that course of action for three 
months, for three months. Now, yes, occasionally you'll get started with something and you'll know very quickly, nope, this is completely wrong for me. This is really not working at all. And I urge you, please listen to that. However, often what we do is we get started on something, right? And then a couple of days or a week or a couple of weeks go by and we're not seeing the instant gratification, the the results that we're looking for. We're not instantly seeing those things. And so then we get bored or we get a little irritated, frustrated, and then we get distracted. There's something else. Maybe I'll try that instead. Yes. Okay. Uh, It's okay to feel what we feel, but it's also important to recognize that if we're dealing with substantial issues, it's not like we have a cold, right? We're dealing with significant digestive issues or autoimmunity. We're not going to see that change, at least in a real significant and lasting way. We're not going to see those results come about in a couple days or a week or two. We can get we can improve symptoms and we can temporarily feel better in a couple days or a week, but we're, we're not fundamentally going to shift those things. Instead, we know we need to put time and effort into making long-lasting and sustainable changes, which give us long-lasting and sustainable results. So we recommend usually three months. Three months is enough time to really get into something, really allow it time to make some changes. You know, after three months, it's good to look back and say, okay, you know, I've changed my diet or I've been taking this supplement or I've been doing this thing. Is it moving me in the direction that I want to go? Now, most likely, if you're dealing with a significant issue, it's not all resolved. We don't expect it to be resolved in three months. That's why most of the time we're looking at a 12-month time frame because that's enough time to really make substantial changes for a person. But often by three months, we can tell, okay, are we getting any results? If you've been doing something, you've resisted distraction, jumping from thing to thing to thing, and you've stayed with something for three months, and, and the honest question is, have you been doing it Like, have you been doing it? Have you been doing it properly? And if you can say, yeah, for the most part, I have been doing it and I have been doing it properly and I'm not seeing any results from it. Okay, now we're not getting distracted. We're saying, okay, this does not seem to be working for me. If you've tried a diet for three months and you can honestly say absolutely nothing has changed, okay, that's probably not going to have a significant impact on what's going on for you. You've been taking a supplement for three months and absolutely nothing has changed. Okay, probably the way it's being done or the way it's being used or that supplement in general, probably not gonna have the results that you're looking for. All right, so the single biggest issue for most of us is distraction. We're blessed with opportunities and options galore, more than humanity has ever had before, and that's a great thing, but the negative side of it is distraction. The mistakes that people make is often hopping from thing to thing to thing when they don't get the instant gratification that they're looking for from that thing. And if you're dealing with digestive issues and autoimmunity, they're significant, and you're looking not just for symptom relief, but you're looking to really get to the root causes of what's going on, one of the major things we need to do, avoid distraction. Pick a course of action that feels like it's the right one for you, preferably with guidance from an experienced practitioner who can help guide you in the path for what's likely to be the most effective for you. And make a commitment. You know, if we don't stick with something for, generally speaking, at least three months, we're not going to expect to see significant benefits from it. We may see temporary improvements in symptoms, but we're not going to make a lot of headway. We really have to dig in, commit to a course of action that's sensible and reasonable, feels right for us and with the right guidance behind it and see what results that's going to get us. Right, folks? So listen, whether it's in health, whether it's in finances, whether it's in relationships, whatever aspect of your life, distraction is the enemy. We need to choose the course of action that is right for us, commit to it, and avoid distraction. Now, whether that's shutting things out often can be effective. Once you've committed to a course of action, in fact, we often recommend this, turn the internet off, right? If you've picked a diet, you've decided that you're going to give it a try, great. Stop reading about other diets. There's always more time in the future to research more if necessary. But at the moment, doing further research on diets, once you've already selected a course of action, it's not going to educate you more. It's going to provide more opportunity for distraction. Instead, commit to your course of action, 
then later, if that doesn't work, if that diet's not right for you or it's not getting your results, please go back and, and do more research and understand more. But in the moment, not the best course of action for you. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Avoid distraction. Listen, if you'd like to know more about the principles behind health and the principles behind disease, I've taken more than a decade of learning and understanding, working with people suffering with digestive issues and autoimmunity, and I've packaged it up in an easy way for people to understand. It's short and it's packed full of information, valuable principles behind health and disease to help clear the confusion and give you a clear path to health. All you need to do to get it is go to aspirenaturalhealth.com slash book. That's aspirenaturalhealth.com slash book. Aspire is in A-S-P-I-R-E naturalhealth.com slash book. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Until next time, take care.